What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through a comprehensive guide of how to set up your Apple Watch and sync it with your iPhone. Now if you're only having problems with a specific portion of your setup, then I'll be sure to put some timestamps in the description below for you guys to just jump around because this might be a rather long video. So the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that your Apple Watch is charged. So just go ahead and charge it during this entire process if you can. And then once you do, just go ahead and turn on your device and this is where you're going to select your language. So of course, I'm just going to tap on English here. And now the next step, it says to open up your Apple Watch app on your iPhone and then start pairing. So if you're on iOS 8.2 or above, then you're gonna have an Apple Watch app right here. So we'll just go ahead and open that up right there. And then all you need to do is tap on start pairing on both of the devices. So you'll see right here that we actually have a viewfinder on our iPhone. So this is what we're going to do. We're just gonna line this up with the Apple Watch as you can see right there. Might be a little bit out of frame, but it should still work here. And then it should go ahead and sync just like that. So it's kind of like a QR code, except it's a little bit different as you can see right there. So you'll notice right here, if it was successful, that it'll say the Apple Watch is now paired. So you can just continue through the process. So we're just gonna get tap on set up the Apple Watch and then you'll get a wrist preference here. So you just wanna select which wrist you're going to be wearing your device on. So I'm gonna be wearing mine on the left. So I'll go ahead and tap on that. And as we continue through this process, most of the stuff you're gonna be doing is gonna be on your iPhone right here. So this is the terms and conditions, read it if you want to. I never do, I'm not really sure what I'm agreeing to here, but we're gonna continue through this. You'll also see that we have location services. So all it basically says is location services allows the watch faces, maps, and everything uh, to use your location. So basically, if you have location services enabled on your iPhone, then it's going to allow those same applications to access your location on your watch. So just tap OK right here. And here we have Siri, which this screen just basically tells you what Siri does, and you're gonna be able to use Siri on your Apple Watch. So we'll just tap OK once again. Then you have your diagnostics. Do you wanna automatically send or don't send? Uh, I usually don't send just because I don't know why I just never do on my iPhone So I'm just gonna tap don't send here and then we can create a passcode for our Apple watch So you just tap right here to create a passcode and then you can enter the new passcode on your Apple watch So we're just gonna type one 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 and then re-enter it all right, so now that's done. Now you'll also see right here that we have install available apps. So you have two options, basically install all or choose later. So if you wanna install all, this is going to take all the applications that you have on your iPhone and install those onto the Apple Watch if they're available. So you can either choose them one by one or you can just tap install all, which probably is gonna be a whole lot easier to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap install all and it should go ahead and start that process. So you can see that the Apple Watch is now syncing and this can actually take a while. You'll notice the dial that we have on the Apple Watch and it's going to go all the way around to completely sync your device. So just give it some time and let it do its thing. All right, so now your Apple Watch is completely synced and you can see that it says your Apple Watch is ready. So just tap OK right here. And then this is going to be your Apple Watch app on your iPhone that you can obviously scroll through and set up a lot of things on your Apple Watch. So before we continue setting this up, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to know how to do is how to use these buttons. So right up here, we have our digital crown. So this is going to allow you to zoom in, zoom out, scroll up and down, as well as act as your home button. So if we're on the watch face and we press it once, it's going to bring us to our home screen. Now, if we're you know over here in the corner on our home screen, we press it once while we're on the home screen, then it's going to center it. And if we press it again, it's going to bring us to our uh, Apple watch face. Now, if we double press it, this is actually going to bring us to the last used app. So you can see if we press it again, it's going to bring us to the watch face. Now if we press and hold, this is actually going to activate Siri. You get a little haptic feedback just notifying you that Siri has been activated. And then of course you can obviously use Siri just like that. So now we also have another button right down here that is the side button. So if we press on that, you can see exactly what it does. It's going to bring us up our contacts, our favorite contacts that we can quickly just call or message them. Now if we double press it, and this is actually going to activate Apple Pay. So all you have to do is just hold this up close to that Apple Pay reader, and then you're good to go. Now of course, if we press and hold this down, then you're gonna see that we can power this off, we can go into power reserve mode, or we can lock the device. Now one button that is not a physical button is the force touch button. So this is actually going to change depending on what application you're in or what environment you're in. So you can see if we press and hold and press down pretty hard, you can see that it's going to allow us to change 
our watch face right there. Now, if we're in another application, let's say that we go into, let's just go into our music app and now we press and hold, you can see that we have some other options for this. Now, this is basically going to change again, like I said, in every application that you're in, you're just gonna kinda have to tinker with this and figure out exactly what the force touch will allow you to do in particular applications. So now that your watch is set up and synced with your iPhone, the next thing that you probably wanna do is set up a watch face. So for some reason you're not on this screen, maybe you're on this screen right here, well all you have to do is just hit the digital crown right there and it's gonna bring up your watch face. So to change this, all you need to do is use a force touch, so just press pretty hard on the screen right there and you can see we can swipe through all the different watch faces. So we have our utility, we have our modular, simple, motion, astronomy, color, solar, chronograph, Mickey, extra large, and then we have our new if you wanna customize and make a new watch face. But if we scroll over here and we just select one of these, let's just say we're going to select color right here. So we can either tap on that and it's going to just give us the standard or stock face, or if we press and hold again with the force touch and we tap on customize, this is going to allow us to add widgets as well as customize the color of the watch face. So you can see right here that we have this green highlighted area. This is going to show us the color. So if we start to scroll with our digital crown, you can see that it's actually going to change the color of that watch face. And you can see a little scroll bar right over here basically telling you when you're out of colors or out of the scrolling area. So you can see all the different colors that we can change this to. Let's actually change this to, let's go through here. Maybe blue is good, I liked blue. Let's actually do purple. All right, so now we have purple for the color. So now we're just gonna swipe to the left here, and this is where we have our widgets, our Apple widgets. So you can see that you can just tap on any of these squares and it's going to allow you to change what you put in that location. So right now we have the date right there, but if we use the digital crown to scroll up, you can see that we can do the moon phase, we have sunrise, sunset, uh, activity, the weather, alarm, timer, stopwatch, battery, world clock. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can do right here. So I'm just gonna put the, uh, Let's just do let's just do the date right there. Actually, no, let's not do the date. We're gonna do sunrise sunset. And then we'll tap right over here, and we're gonna put the uh, the battery over here, right there. And then right here in the middle, if we tap on that, you can see that you basically either have an off or a monogram option. If we tap over here in the bottom left hand corner, then we have basically all the same stuff. We have our battery, world clock, timer, alarm, activity, weather, all that good stuff. We'll leave this one as weather and tap over here. Let's see if there's anything else that we want on this watch face. Timer, let's actually just go all the way up to off, but we're gonna leave this one off. Now, once we're done, you can either swipe over and you can see that there's nothing else there. You can go back, you can change the color if you want to, or we can just hit the home button or the digital crown, and it's gonna bring us back to this screen right here. We can just tap on that, and now that is your watch face. Now, other watch faces have different options, so you can see if we force touch and we swipe over here. Let's just go over to the uh, utility one. We'll tap customize. You can see that we can change the detail on that particular face. So we can take away the numbers, we can take away some of the uh, dashes for the minutes, seconds, hours, that sort of thing. We can swipe over here. You can change the color of the second uh, hand right there. So we can swipe through. And then we have all of our widgets right there and you can add a calendar right down here as well. So now that we're done, we'll hit the digital crown and you can see what that looks like too. Now to continue setting up your Apple Watch, the best way to do it is through the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. So right here up at the top, we have our app layout. So if you wanna change up your layout at all, this is what it's going to look like on your Apple Watch. But if you wanna change that, you can just tap and hold and then drag these wherever you'd like. Now when you hit the home button or the digital crown, it's actually going to center on that watch application. So everything that you want to be very easily accessible, especially if you have a bunch of icons, is to center those around that clock icon. That way they're really easily accessible. Once you hit that home button, it's gonna center and then you can just be a tap away from that particular app. So for instance, if I wanted to quickly access the Pandora app on my Apple Watch, you can see right here that I'm on the screen, but if I just hit the digital crown, you'll notice that it's gonna bring me right to the middle there and I can quickly access the Pandora app. But once you have your layout all set up, you can go back here to your uh, iWatch, and then if we tap on airplane mode, you can mirror your iPhone if you wanna do that. So basically, any time that your phone is in airplane mode, then it's gonna do the exact same thing for your Apple Watch. So you can just toggle that on 
right there. Coming back here, we also have our Apple Watch. So what Apple Watch is this paired to? You can unpair the Apple Watch if you want to just by tapping that. Coming down here, we also have our notifications, glances, and do not disturb. So notifications and glances are definitely something that you're gonna wanna set up. So if we tap on notifications here, you'll see that you want to have the notifications indicator toggled on. So when this is on, the red dot will appear at the top of your watch face, basically telling you that you have unread notifications. Right down here, we also have a toggle for notification privacy. So when that's on, the notification detail will only appear when you tap on the alert. Coming down here, this is where we're gonna have all of our notifications. So we have right now set up for activity, calendar, mail, maps, message, uh, our passbook and Apple Pay, phone, photos, and reminders. Let's say we tap on activity, you can see that we have some toggles here. So stand reminders, so this is gonna basically tell you when you need to stand up if you've been sitting down too long. You have progress updates, you have goal completions, achievements, weekly summary, and now this is gonna be something that you're gonna have to dive into yourself and basically check out exactly what you wanna do and set it up to your preferences. Now right here we also have mirror my iPhone for the messages, so every time that we get a message or a notification from our messages, then it's gonna send it directly to our Apple Watch. And that's basically how all these notifications work. Now if we come back down here and we tap on glances, these are going to be all of our glances. We'll get into glances a little bit later, but right here we have uh, basically everything that's set up right now. So we have now playing, heartbeat, battery, activity, calendar, weather, stock, maps, and world clock. Right down here we have some other options that we have not included. But if we come up here, I don't really need world clock to be there. So I'm going to remove it or just drag it down just like that. And I don't really need maps either, so I'm just gonna remove that as well. So that's gonna put it right down there. We also have stocks, weather, calendar. Let's see, I don't really need stocks. We're gonna move that. Just because you don't wanna have a ton of glances here that you're gonna have to scroll through every single time. So let's go back out here, that looks fine to me. We also have our do not disturb so you can mirror your iPhone to do the exact same thing as your Apple Watch right there. We also have general so if we tap on that this is basically just like the general uh, settings that you have for your iPhone but obviously a little more tailored to the Apple Watch. You can enable handoff, you can change the wrist detection. If we scroll down a little bit more you also have activate on wrist raise so this is going to allow you to change what happens when you raise your wrist. So you can either show the watch face or resume the previous activity. I would recommend doing the watch face right there. Coming down here we also have usage and we have reset if you want to reset your device. So let's go back here and tap on brightness and text size. So obviously this is exactly what you're going to do. You're going to change the brightness on your device right here or you can change the text size or you can even use the bold text. Sounds and haptics is a really cool one, so if we tap on that, this is going to allow you to change what sounds you hear or if you hear sounds at all, or how strong the haptic is. So the haptic is basically just the vibration on your wrist from the Apple Watch. So right here, if you don't wanna have alerts sent to you, you can mute this right here, or you can actually just change the volume level of that notification sound. Coming right down here, we also have uh, cover to mute. So if you're getting a notification and you put your palm over the face of the watch, then it's going to mute that. But you have to keep it over there for three seconds. Right down here, we also have prominent haptic. So when that's on, the Apple Watch will play a prominent haptic to pre-announce some of the common alerts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toggle that on as well. Coming back here, we also have our passcode. So you can set up your passcode right here. You guys know how to do that. Uh, we also have health. So if you want to input all your stats right here, then you can do so. We're going to go back here. You also have privacy. So this has your motion and fitness. Do you want it to access your heart rate as well as the fitness tracking? You can toggle that on and off right there. Coming down here, we also have uh, our apps on here. So if we tap on these, it basically allows you to either set up your glances or set up the notifications or reminders for that particular application. You obviously can scroll through all your applications right here and check that out for yourself. Now right here are all the third party applications. So it's just kind of separated right there just for convenience sake. Now just take a quick look around of the application itself. You can see right here that we have the explore tab which will show you how to use everything right here. We also have our featured tab. So these are gonna be the Apple Watch app. So you can swipe through here and check out all those third party applications that you can download on your Apple Watch. And we also have search if you're looking for a particular application. So the next thing you'll probably wanna set up is Apple Pay. So let's go ahead and start that process right here. So all you wanna do is just scroll down here to Passbook and Apple Pay. And then you can see right here that we have the Mirror My iPhone uh, toggled on, but this doesn't necessarily move that credit card or debit card over to your Apple Watch. So if you want to add that, then you would just tap on this right here and then you can obviously sign into iCloud if you're not already. So I'll go ahead and do that. 
So now once you're signed in, just tap on add credit or debit card. So if we tap on that, you'll see that you'll need to unlock your Apple Watch. So just tap OK. Now keep in mind that if this is on your wrist, then you won't have to do this. It should just stay unlocked while your iPhone is unlocked. But since I just have this kind of laying down right here, you will have to unlock your device. Now we're going to tap on add credit or debit card. So then it'll just walk you through this process. So we're just going to tap next. And then you can basically verify your card that you have set up for Apple Pay right here. So once you put in the security code for that, just tap agree and then tap agree again. And then you can see here that the verification has completed. So just go ahead and tap next. And then you'll notice that we have a new credit card right here for our Apple Watch. And then you'll see a green verify button right here. So if you tap on that, this should go ahead and send you a text message and you should be able to enter a code. Now it may take a while before you actually get your code, but basically it's going to send you a text message on your iPhone and then you're just gonna put in that code right here. And then once you've entered that code, then you're good to go and your Apple Pay is set up on your Apple Watch. So just a real quick look at notifications and glances. You can see right here that I'm on my watch face, but if I pull down from the top, then that's going to give me all of my notifications that you can quickly just scroll through right there and read. Now if we press the home button or the digital crown it's going to bring us back to the watch face and now we can actually swipe up here and this is going to give us our glances which we actually set up in our settings. So you can just swipe all the way to the left here to go through all of your glances and you have your pages that you can obviously interact with right there. So if you want to set up more or less you can obviously set that up within the settings. So last but not least, what you want to set up is your contact. So you can see right here, if I press the side button, this is actually going to bring me to my friends, allowing me quick access to those particular contacts. Now, if you don't have favorites set up on your iPhone, then it's not obviously going to sync over those contacts. So the way to set that up manually is just go into the Apple Watch app, tap on friends, and then you can see you can add your friends right here. So if you tap on a friend, let's just say we're going to type in uh, some contacts. So we'll add Rob, we'll add Steve, We'll add Leo and Don. So you can see right there that those are all set up. And I went ahead and set up the rest of these right here. Now you'll notice that the location of these particular contacts are going to be to the left in that circular layout. So now let's go ahead and turn on our device again. Let's put in our passcode. And now you can see that we have all of our contacts right here. So basically we can just swipe through very simply just like that so pretty self-explanatory how that works now if we tap on one of these you can see that we have the ability to call that person or message them so if we tap on message then we can send these quick little messages right here if we tap cancel we can call that person and it's going to call them if you tap on that you can also cancel it pretty quickly if you don't want to actually call that person but that's how you set up your contacts so of course, if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, make sure you smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it and it also really helps me out. Again, if you guys wanna see more videos on the Apple Watch, jailbroken iPhones, as well as all Apple products, make sure you subscribe. All right guys, until next time, peace.